you so much once again for um, coming all the way to my house in such a hurry. Do people often order things on extreme express delivery? Or is it just me? Well, you look really tired. Um, you wanna stay for a little while? Um, you should rest here a little bit. I know it's been a pretty uphill journey. I know, I live at the top of a hill in the very center of Lullaby City as far as it gets well, for the city anyway it's probably worse, so, you know, other places you have to travel uh, You can't even travel by foot if you're not in the city. You have to use things like uh, trains and spaceships, which I've never been on a spaceship before, have you? It seems really exciting. I don't know. I like it here though. invited you to stay. I didn't even introduce myself. Uh, I, I know you saw the name on the package when you were delivering it, but that's not the same as a formal introduction, I guess. So, uh, well, I'm Victoria. Victoria Rivet Ribbon, which people often get confused ribbon rivet or sometimes okay pretty frequently ribbit driven ribbit ribbit like like the little uh, <sighs> those little creatures that I've seen on earth TV <sighs> ribbit <laughs> anyway uh, Oh, it's nice to meet you too. It, that's a really cool name you have. I haven't really heard that before very much. Are you from here? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, so if you stay long enough, my mom is making my favorite food right now. Making um, roasted butternut squash and button mushrooms. Uh, yeah, I live with my mom. She's so awesome. And uh, I also live with my cats. Yeah, there's three of them. <laughs> well, there's Trinket. Hey. Speaking of, speaking of the trinket, here she is right here. Oh, and then there's the bobble. He's, he's kind of like, he's like a chubby purple boy. I love him. It has these amazing stripes like you've never seen. Um, she's pretty shy, so you might never see her. But her stripes are amazing, I swear. Trinket? What did I tell you about trying to rip down the curtains? 
always always pulling at all the fabrics so oh so I know um well I told you that I live with my mom and my cats but it doesn't get lonely around here ever because I always invite um, my friends over and my mom loves to cook for them so we just spend a lot of time together and um, my best friend has as a violinist and when I'm working on my inventions um, she will play and practice and it's my very favorite thing to listen to while I'm inventing so um yeah and she's coming over today so that's exciting um my inventions yeah I'm an inventor <laughs> that's why I've been needing this stuff that you brought me in such a hurry and I apologize in advance that I'm going to need some more things but I haven't quite figured it out yet because I haven't quite f finished inventing uh, well, I haven't, you know, perfected it yet, so to speak to put it gently okay I'll, tr <laughs> I'll try my best to not express deliver, order things every single day, but if I do I will always invite you to dinner um you'll be healthier cause you'll be walking uphill so often you can pet my cat hello if you come over often enough perfect um, so I'll tell you what I'm working on and why it's so important but it's kind of a long story do you have the time oh I can show you some of my past inventions if you'd like as soon as you saw her but yeah um so uh, my dad knows how to build pretty much anything and um my mom makes potions and she has this amazing library and so their approach has always been um to not tell me how to do th things so that i figure it out myself but if I ask then they'll tell me so um that's why it took me six how many six years to figure out the the watch but I went uh and like looked through the books 
person asked sneaky questions because I wanted to figure it out. I'm sort of stubborn like that. But yeah, um, where was I? I was, I was showing you my inventions. So. Um. This one's really cool. when I was about 16. There's just some dried flower petals in there. Can you see it? It's like a little, uh, fairy portal. <laughs> I sometimes put spells in there. I did have to ask my dad a lot of questions as far as the wood carving because that was not easy for me. If I hadn't burned them all, I would show you the first seven versions. This was a rather fun and easy one. This is one of my favorites. I plan to make more. So, this one is kind of an old family secret, so I'm not going to tell you very much about it, but you can look. Guess what it is? I'm not going to tell you. Maybe someday, but definitely not today. This one's heavy. 
So this one I inherited from my grandfather. I'm still figuring out how it works and how to fix it. Uh, so I said I'm an inventor. I didn't say I was the best inventor. These keys lead to this strange old stairwell that's just above our cottage. That seems like somebody started building something and then abandoned it. with elven magic and so it helps me understand what I'm doing better when working with wood because that's his specialty. What an amazing gift.
me show you um, one of my mom's things. Um, don't tell her I showed you, okay? <laughs> Obviously top secret. Amazing, right? recently deceived by a Blixie. Reason being, uh, part of their magic is they have the power to shapeshift as well as camouflage themselves into whatever environment they're in. So I was minding my own business at a fairy tea party, you know, and I thought a Blixie was a fairy. <laughs> and, well, I won't tell you the rest of that story, but this is why I needed you to bring me these for my latest invention. I found out 
I was dealing with Lixie was it trembled in fear and vanished as soon as there was reflected light touching the surface of their skin. So I thought about that. I thought about that a lot. If reflected light is their weakness, then I have to invent the largest reflected light that will direct light horizontally and 360 degrees from a very high point which I live on top of a hill in the center of Lullaby City so if I go up the staircase that my grandfather started and I figure out how to make this light, then the Lullaby City will be protected from the Blixies forever. And I really want to be that hero. So this is... <laughs> I've made so far. My grandfather made the spiral staircase. I just have to figure out how to make it go higher and taller so I can put this light at the very, very, very top of it where it will then reflect light upon all of Lullaby City. my friends and family will be safe. What do you think? Am I dreaming? Well. Drink it. Stop trying to bite the couch. That's not food. good in here. I think dinner's about to be ready. Um, so I mentioned that in, ex in return for your uphill travels, um, I would love to offer you dinner. Um, and would you like to stay tonight for, for some, uh, roasted butternut squash and mushroom buttons? I understand you're really busy and you have to get back to your next delivery, but, um, maybe, um, next time, like, tomorrow or the next day, uh, depending on how this goes, I might need some emergency supplies. And, uh, what's your favorite food? I will definitely remember that and I will make a special version of it um, the way my family does it um, when I make my next extra extra express delivery request <laughs> well, um, I had so much fun with, with you showing you my inventions it's been very long time since I've shown anybody um, um, the things that I've made, so yeah. Farewell. <laughs>